Most recently, I had someone send me something um, that said active on Zillow, but they were literally pending for 29 days and were set to close the next day. So they were pending before we even met each other. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Dorsey and I am a real estate agent out in Windsor, Colorado. Today we are talking about how to make your home search more efficient. So in the previous video, I discussed how important it was to get your lender and your real estate agent team assembled. And I spoke about the absolute necessity of getting a good pre-approval letter. This is not a letter that you got online. It's not a pre-qualification letter. This is an actual, they verified income, they saw tax records, they wanted W-2s, all of that sort of pre-approval letter. Once that is all accomplished, it's now time for the fun part. And this is when your real estate agent is gonna kind of take the wheel in this transaction. So the first thing that you wanna do with your real estate agent is establish how you wanna be communicated with. I am an agent that is fine with texting calls and email. I do try to keep it to one or two forms of communication unless something is dire, then we move to the third one. But if you are somebody who just wants to be texted, cool. If you just wanna have everything through email, also cool. If you need a phone call every day, let me know that. And then we can move forward and no one is getting aggravated about the lack of communication because we've already established what works best for you. So at your buyer's consultation, your agent might have asked you, should probably have asked you what exactly you were looking for in a house, like location wise, bedrooms, bathrooms. I do really try to stay as close to those things as I can. Every now and then if I come across something that might be 10 minutes outside of your designated area, I might shoot it over to you and see if you'd be open to it. Um, but make sure that your agent is on the same page with you as far as what you are looking for. That first showing day, I'd like to see between four and six houses any more than six and things really start melding together. You're starting to get hungry, you need to go to the restroom, people are getting cranky after the sixth house. So that four to six house range in that first showing day, I think is prime. You get to see what's out there, you kind of start seeing design aspects that you like or don't like. Telling your agent what is a no-go for you is also super important for us so that we can keep it in mind when we're searching for homes for you. If you don't like a vaulted ceiling, let us know. We can't really accommodate a search for that necessarily, but we can give you a heads up that this is in your price range, location, blah, 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 but there's a vaulted ceiling. And then ultimately you can decide if you wanna see that house or not. A super important thing when we're starting this home search obviously is location. There's a ton of things that you can change when you're searching for your home but location is not one of them. If your agent sends you a house in a location that you're not really sure about, go do a drive-by of it. Go at nighttime and at daytime before you go and see it, if you can, if there's time for that. Because if you don't like the neighborhood of where something is for whatever reason, then there's no point in wasting your time to go look at the house. If you're not able to do a drive-by, I would suggest typing that address into Google Earth it's like a virtual drive-by and nowadays everything is virtual so why not do a virtual drive-by? That way you can at least see kind of what the neighborhood is all about and see how you feel about it. I will say most people do not find their dream house in that first day of showings. That is kind of a day to get your feet wet and figure out what you like and don't like. I mean, if you find it, that's amazing, cool, here we go. But if you don't, don't get discouraged. I would say, my buyers tend to find the house that they want to make an offer on within um, a month to 45 days of us looking, but that's a lot of days in between day one and day 45. So don't get discouraged if five houses that you saw aren't the one. So I do tell my buyers if they happen to be doing their home search, send me stuff. That way we can work together to find the house of your dreams. Caveat to that is Sometimes I will get um, addresses from buyers that they get really excited about because they found the house on Zillow. The Zillow listing says that it's active. 
right now, Zillow is a little bit behind in updating that listing. So oftentimes, if you're finding something on Zillow that your agent has not sent to you before, it's because that house already has an offer on it and is considered pending. So don't be too crushed or don't feel like your agent isn't doing their job if they tell you that the house is no longer available. Most recently, I had someone send me something um, that said active on Zillow, but they were literally pending for 29 days and were set to close the next day. So they were pending before we even met each other. So just keep that in mind as you're searching on Zillow and make sure you talk to your real estate agent um, before you get your hopes up with that. I check listings for my buyers multiple times a day, every single day, seven days a week. And if something pops up, I'm gonna send it to you right then. Ultimately, I do have people on a daily search results schedule, but you'll hit a point, especially in this low inventory market, where there's not a ton of new listings popping up. So if I have your search to run at 9 a.m. in the morning and I check at 11 o'clock and there's a new listing, I'm just gonna send it over immediately for you to view. It's important for you to then see how you like it so that we can decide if we wanna go out and see it and your agent can start making scheduling appointments for that. So those are kind of the steps to make your home search a little more efficient. This week we're gonna talk about making a winning offer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some of my tips and tricks on how I got some of my buyers into their homes so that you know now some strategies that you can talk about with your agent. So I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or email me at homeagain at jessicadorsey.com. Thanks, have a great day.